So guys, here we are. We're on the way to Melton Police Station, but we've just noticed this ginormous aerial thing in the distance. It's huge, never seen anything like it. So it's only right that we take a detour and take a closer look, don't you think? Let's get into it. As we get closer, the scale of this thing just becomes immense. Even got wires coming down from it to hold it in place. Shown by my free time zoom. <laughs> Let's get closer. We're getting even closer now. Look at that. That is not every day you see something that big. I'm telling you now. Let's get closer. So here we are guys, we've come up this uh, road here and just behind this gate you will see the beast of what I'm just about to Google to see what it is. But up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We've got a cattle grid here. And there's something like satellites as well in the inner perimeter fence. Let me just get onto Google to see what this uh, actually is. Danger, beware of falling ice from the mast and stay wires. Woohoo! That would be dangerous, wouldn't it, if a bit of ice fell, fell on your head from that high up. Ouch! I've just been reading up on Google and um, Waltham Transmitting Station used to broadcast all the analog stations before we moved into digital. So BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four, Channel Five, they were all transmitted from Waltham to serve this local area. So at the minute, um, this transmitting station is being used for 106.6 FM smooth radio. It's being used for Digital One, BBC National DAB, and now Nottingham. So it is still being used by some services. Let's have a little closer look, um, see what the signs say. See if there's anything more interesting that we can see. It says on Wikipedia that the first mast here was built in 1966 on the 16th of November. It collapsed, but part of, parts of the wreckage are still used as pig shelters. <laughs> Do they mean on this site? If there is, let's go find them. Look at these um, wires that hold it in place, all protected by these uh, these fences. Look, all protected by CCTV as well. These big, massive concrete foundations with these mega thick steel rods which go all the way up to stop it wobbling I presume this is no little uh, construction is it you got another one over there which is going all the way to the top of the thing huge it says that the mast was originally built to provide BBC2 to the East Midlands. It became the main mast for ITV Central from 1982 and BBC East Midlands from 1991. Previously, it had been broadcast from Birmingham and it's now the main TV transmitter for all digital terrestrial channels covering the East Midlands. So it's... Uh, it's a big one. Delivery drivers, wonder what they get delivered here. Another cattle grid inside. Let's have a look around. It, on uh, Wikipedia it says, Waltham first broadcast digital TV on the 15th of November 1998. And in July 2007 was confirmed by Ofcom that the digital switchover Waltham would be transmitting five of the six muxes within its original CD group. 
muxes, eh? What they got uh, sticking out the ground? What's this? Some barbed wire sticking out the ground, or? Oh dear, look at my trainers. Let's have a closer look around. A view from this side, we can see a couple of these satellites here. And another view of the, the beast. All right, let's see if there's anything else interesting that we can spot. It's not every day you get close up to a satellite dish that big, is it? Let's see if it echoes. Hello! Hello! <laughs> no echo. Got big security cameras up there. Look at that messy wiring. Not very neat, is it? I'm sure some of you would agree if you've come across uh, wiring jobs in your day to day that is not good got to keep it tidy cable management <laughs> oh dear some more little satellites satellite dishes and we're nearly around the uh, around the last corner now it's amazing countryside where it's located but i suppose it has to be on one of the highest points A lot of these manholes would be interesting to see what's underneath them, wouldn't it? Middle of a field. All the cables running around. So that's it from Waltham Transmitting Station. I'll give you one last fact before we go. It has 315 metres guide steel tubular mast. So 315 metres tall. 1033 feet so i hope you've enjoyed the video not every day you get to come across something spectacular as this if you've liked it as much as i have please like subscribe if you have not already and we'll see you on the next one bye bye for now